Welcome to TLE Exploratory 7 and 8. Today, we will continue our topic in electrical installation and maintenance. For our topic for today is all about measuring tools and implements. Sensitive instruments of surface hardened steel provided with skills of different degree of accuracy. Simple measuring tools are mainly used in single part production and maintenance work. For lesson 1, measuring tools and implements, we have test light. It's a pocket-sized tool used to test the line wire or circuit if there is current in it. Micrometer is used to measure the diameter of wires conductors in circular mills. It can measure small and big sizes of wires and cables. Wire gauge is used in determining the size of wires conductors. The gauge ranges from 0 to 60 AWG or American wire gauge. Ruler or foot rule, a measuring tools used to measure length, width, and thickness of short flat object and is sketching straight lines. Pull push rule is a measuring tool used to measure the length of the object in centimeter and inches. Ammeter is an instrument used to measure the amount of electrical current intensity in a circuit. The unit of measure is ampere. It is connected along or series to the circuit. Voltmeter is an instrument used to measure electrical pressure or voltage of a circuit. The unit of measure is volt. This is connected across or parallel to the circuit. Clamp ammeter is also called tongue tester. It is used to measure current flowing in a conductor. It is clamped or hung in a conductor. Voltometer or VOM, otherwise called as multi-tester, is used to measure the voltage, resistance, and current of a circuit. It is connected in parallel or series with the circuit depending on what to measure. Megometer or insulation resistance tester is a special type of ometer used to measure the electrical resistance of insulators. Now, for lesson 2, performing maturation and calculation. We have the quantities and terms used in electrical. First, volts. This is the pressure between two points in an electrical circuit. It could be measured across the voltage source or other components connected in the circuit. Amps. This is measure of the current flowing between two points in an electrical circuit. Ohms. A measure of resistance to flow in a circuit. Load. A device or component which draws power from a voltage source. This could be an electronic resistor, bulb, electric heater, motor, or any electrical appliances. Ground. This is usually the point in a circuit to which the negative terminal of a battery or power supply connected. DC or direct current. Current flows only one way from a DC source, an example which is a battery. Next, AC or alternating current. Current flows one way from a source, reverses and then flows the other way. This happens many times a second at a rate determined by the frequency which is typically 50 or 60 Hz. Polarity, a term used to describe the direction of flow of current in a circuit or which points are positive and which are negative, which are reference point. Now, let's proceed to parts of a multi-tester. First, we have pointer, the needle-shaped rod that moves over the scale of a meter. Pointer, it is mechanically connected to the moving coil. It indicates the measured values on the multimeter. Range selector knob. Range selector knob or selector switch makes it possible to select different functions and range of the meter. Adjustment screw. Adjustment screw makes it possible to adjust the pointer to the zero position of the scale. Scale. 
Scale is a series of marking used for reading the value of a quantity. And scale can have different types of scale. For voltage and readings, the scales have mostly linear which means equal division. Test probe. Probes are the handles used to hold teeth on the tested connected. We have red meter lead is connected to voltage resistance or amperage port and considered as the positive connection. And we have black meter lead is always connected to the common port and considered as the negative connection. And lastly, we have panel indicator. Panel indicator shows each function and setting range to turn dial 2. The different parts of multi-tester has its own function and use knowing them very well can help you to carry out electrical works such as measuring volts, amperes, and ohms of electricity. That's the end of our lesson in measuring tools and implements. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.